Hello, my friends. I had a bunch of spare time uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know what got into me, but I got pretty dedicated on the suit here. As you can see, uh, got a little bit carried away. Spent quite a bit of time on the arms. Got those pretty much roughed in. Got almost 90 degrees at the elbows, which isn't too bad. I'll keep working on that, try to get it a little bit better, but that's not too bad for now. I ended up going with the idea of uh, two motors per arm, so I'm gonna have to upgrade the PLC, but that's not too big a deal, other than buying the thing. What's another 100 bucks at this point? Got the basic foundation made for the chest piece and the cod piece. Uh, the hinge idea at the waistline worked really well on the previous build, so I decided to replicate that on this. Makes it real easy to get in here to show people or to fix a problem or work on it or whatever. So I kind of like that idea. I'm just going to keep going with that. So that's it. So next we'll be roughing in the backpack. Uh, the previous two I built took me about a month. Kind of a big pain, but what are you going to do? It's not like we're in the wasteland with a pile of power armor parts laying around. So really nothing can be done. What's this? Oh, look, a pile of power armor parts. This is the backpack from the Mark I. Let's take a look here. The basic detail is pretty close. I believe I can just modify this top piece and change that and add the detail and I think I can convert that into a T60 backpack which will save me literally a month out here. So I think maybe that's the direction I'll go with that. That will save a ton of time. So that is it my friends. Till next time, Advictorum.